Good morning, everybody. I am Super G Load, and by request of uh, Timothy Kohut, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, here is what I've called the Kohut Formation. Now, I think he only said, well, he, they only said, he could be a she, I, I, 2019. Uh, Two Janus, one Heracles, and fill out the rest with Atlas. Um, well, I was actually going to put in a third Atlas, but I couldn't load it out the way I wanted to. Um, with, you know, Viper 2s and Assault Raptors. So, I decided to put in a third, um... A third Janus for an excessive amount of firepower and backed up by three Atlas for air support. Um, yeah, we're going to use this one. And we're going to go against the. <laughs> Wait a second. Player made. Opponent is going to be the new Capgras Assault because. <sighs> I'm a masochist who likes sodomy. I was actually going to try to crank out this um, in the campaign, but... They're really, like, I didn't have any good saves for it. So, three, four, five, six, seven. It'd be really nice to use this fleet with um, the Daedalus, but whatever. Let's, let's get some better music going first. So, uh, my strategy is always let them come to you. So, bring these guys back. And since this is not a campaign, I should, you know, take this somewhat seriously. Launch everything. You should go full defensive posture on these guys back here. Uh, the cruisers, or, or sorry, the carriers, while they can fight, they shouldn't need to. I've also gone with guided missiles because as much as I like nukes, uh, one volley uh, isn't quite enough. Maybe I'll try this again with nukes just to see the result. Now, that being said, if there's three of them, I would have nine nukes. That should be enough to take on nine ships, more or less. So this is going to be really slow going this mission, but let them come to us because they have a lot of a lot of stuff. Now with the Janus's forming a formation like this around the Heracles. You can tell half of your fighters to defend a Janus. And that should give it an adequate screen against most things coming in. You're not quite pointed perfectly straight there. Entado. Entodded? Entoto. Ah, oh, screw it. And I'm going to assign my Assault Raptors to be the same group. Uh, they're gonna be they're gonna wait honestly one two hmm. 
Twelve. Yeah, let them come to you. Be patient. Because the last thing, in my opinion, the last thing you want to do is engage them while they're near their air superiority. Bring their air superiority to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fucked. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be fun. Ah, uh, yes. Any time, guys! Oh my god, these fucking vipers. Jesus. <laughs> this is not going to go well. This is going to go exceptionally poorly. There you go! Okay, so they're prioritizing the Heracles. That's interesting. Alright, Heracles. And it's got the front armor to deal with this shit, too. That's frightening. Anyway. Uh, repair your tech bay, friend. Everyone else keep everyone else keep dancing. You almost need one more squadron of vipers. What you could do is Which one is this? This is the Atlas, or what's it called? Quinn. Oops, Quinn. All right. I'm gonna pull you off that one, and you are going to defend the Heracles. Honestly, should have done that from the get-go, but I did not know that this was gonna happen this way. Shit! Which one of them boarded? Let, oh my god. It's This is the one that's been boarded. Uh -huh. Okay. Change of plan. Full defensive posture. Ha! Jesus! The Heracles didn't even get a chance to fight! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is totally fine. Ugh. Okay. So they prior. Oh, I mean, it. I guess it makes sense that they would prioritize the Heracles. Oh God, there's a lot. There's a lot of raiders. Uh, how the fuck does humanity think they have a chance of these goddamn robots? Okay, no, that's fine. I can be patient. Okay, you need to defend Quint or whoops. Galaras, you need to defend Quinn, and you need to defend You guys keep your defensive postures. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to send our attack raiders or our attack raptors to do something. Wow, they have a lot of munitions. 
I screwed this up. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have sent a squadron of vipers ahead to scout out their fleet. I have to try this again. Make this work. Really sad that the Heracles fucking. I just can't keep those ships alive. Okay. This is probably what I should have done first. Ah, that's scary. All right. Okay, now that we're within, you know, saying hello distance. Pick a partner and dosi do, -si -do guys. Mm. Oh god, they called it the Spartan. Raptors now go. Atlas is taking damage. All right. Patience seems to work with regards to the air superiority. Like they. Like, I still have my Vipers, and they're still more or less intact. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> okay, Janus. I gotta wait two more turns. Okay, you... And my raptors. Missiles incoming. Atlas is taking damage. Missiles incoming. Hostile unit identified. Yes. All right, there's one. Janice, I got wait another turn. Frack me. That's fine. This is this is all fine. This is all fine. This will this will be good. I just. Will, can't keep a fucking Heracles alive. <laughs> like, the comment on the video is the one where I'm kind of evaluating the Heracles. I had to actually replay that mission because I kind of screwed up my saves. I actually kept all six alive in that one, which is nice. Um, okay. There is safety in numbers, fellas. All for one, one for all, that kind of shit. Yes, sir. So... Alright. E. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Atlas is taking damage. Ah, shit. There's two. Alright. Alright, Assault Raptors. I can't recall you because you don't have anywhere to recall to. Anyway. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, okay, I got six squadrons and five fighters. So your job is to... You're defending... 
You're defending a Janus. You should be defending that Janus. And you should be defending this Janus. And you should be defending your carrier. You should be defending your carrier. And you should be taking out those raiders. This is a hair of an unfair fight, I think, but whatever. I like seeing base stars explode. One more turn. Ooh. Yes. That one's getting furthest away, so we'll wreck it. Didn't even get to see the Heracles fucking fight. Would have made this a whole lot easier, I think. No, you haven't! Not once have I stood my ground against six frickin' base stars in a campaign. You have not been through worse, guys. Anyway. Um... This actually works well for the Janus, because I think I mentioned they're basically an orbital bombardment kind of vehicle. Vehicle. Vessel. Oh, wow. That guy had a bad day. Alright, where are my raptors? This, this guy right here looks like he's getting away. Heavy Raider Squadron. Take out that, please. It's actually really advantageous for the Janus because they do have downward facing turrets. Kind of a. I just got lucky with that. But I think I know how I should alter the formation next time. I think I should have a Janus below the um, Heracles. And then have the fighters covering the Heracles, because the Janus, I don't think, needs the cover as bad. They're not prioritizing the Janus for whatever reason. Like, I find, uh, playing through the campaign again because I got no life and I love this game, I have a Artemis leading six Atlas. And they always prioritize the Artemis. Now, the Artemis does tend to get into trouble a little quicker than the Atlas does. It goes forward. But... Um, I think it's a more dangerous ship um, if you had to go and slug it out with. So the AI... is going to uh, prioritize that ship and not, you know, a, a Janus. I mean, if you consider it in terms of the lore of the universe, Janus are old. They're relics. They're, like, they really got no business being in this war. Oh. So, you know, it kind of makes sense for them not to attack this old antique. Fucking Janus? What the hell are they coming to the house with the Janus for? Worry about the Heracles. Well, let's see this hot mess of a fight that I, I technically won. There was victory. But, alright, let's see. Oh, man. Let's 
Alright, so let's see. First mistake was not sending out a scouting party so we could harass these guys with missiles from a distance. Second mistake was putting the Janus on top of the Heracles. I think the Heracles would have been better at the top of the formation rather than the bottom. Third mistake should have put a fighter squadron on Heracles because holy shit, they really, really hate Heracles. Hell, the number of missiles that they lobbed at, I probably could have afforded to have all three squadrons that were defending the Atlas cruiser or the Atlas carriers at the back to cover the Heracles until we got into fighting distance. Very, a lot of front armor, but better side firepower for the Heracles, so I gotta, I gotta learn how to use those guys better. Yeah, all those missiles were going for my Heracles. And then they pick a new target to basically focus their fire on. That carrier seen better days. Oh, those fucking Janices, though. Jesus Christ. I think I said they can shrug off a nuke. So I'm not quite sure what happened to my fighter cover. I'm, I'm guessing they got overwhelmed by the raiders, and they were focusing on that. They weren't focusing on munitions. A few more Vipers would have probably made the difference, but I like using Viper 2's and Assault Raptors. I'm sorry. And also, better use of my postures. I probably should have had the Heracles on full defensive posture until, you know, we had target lock on those guys. And then we can start slugging it out. Part of the problem was I let the their guys, their Vipers, and their air superiority get too close to me, and they could see me, and I could not see them. <sighs> I really don't like seeing that. But, uh, Assault Raptors, you make life so much better. There's just something deeply unsettling about seeing, you know, an atlas. Now that that's something I like. Something unsettling seeing an atlas on fire. Uh does not does not make me very happy. I love my atlas. That is a shadow caused by a base star. I do not know if, uh, I mean, ultimately, I won the battle, and I guess that's the bottom line, that's all that matters, but that was sloppy, I could have, I could have done it a whole lot better, but as for using the Janus as a, as a, you know, meat shield or a screen for Heracles or other ships, I, yeah, like, they, they are so beefy, and with the guided munitions they can keep the they can take a pounding and keep it away from something a little more fragile like a Jupiter I'm sorry I really don't like the Jupiters in this game like they just they're expensive they're slow like I've always I've always had more luck managing an Artemis the maneuvers are nice but the maneuvers are also kind of expensive to use like you use, I, I can't mass Viper like I would love to. And I mean, again, there is an advantage to a mixed fleet, balance and flexibility. But I think 
it would be it's better to play to your strengths so if you want a lot of vipers and go with a lot of vipers mm, well that could have that could have been worse it could have been better could have been worse <laughs>